Eiffel. London, 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 London. Eiffel. This is Coogan Cassius, Fire Film London. We're at the Goals Gym here in Loughton. With me, I've got trainer to James Segal, Jim McDonald. How are you, Jim? Fine, thank you, Cassius. Fine, mate. You all right? Everything all right? Yeah, can't complain. All good. Working hard. Um, I just had a chat with James, obviously. How frustrating has it been for you as a trainer to have James out the ring for... for I mean, he's had one fight in the last year, I think. Um, how frustrating has that been for you as a trainer? Yeah, I mean, it, the, the job's difficult enough. If like, in, It's difficult enough whether you're fighting every week or not. Um, to keep the fighter's mind active, when you've got a day, it's, it's, it does its own job, it's simple. With James, um, keeping him on a straight and narrow has been like my, my task, and he's been brilliant, to be honest. He's, he's stayed in the gym, he's trained, he's worked, and uh, he's just got on with it. But obviously, now he's got a day, he's like, he's like a different person, he's just absolutely buzzing. Um, obviously, I'm not going to go into it, Jim, but obviously the, the problems James had with his um, past promoters or, you know, it's all in the past now and it's just looking to move on and start a new life with uh, Hennessy Sports and uh, Channel 5. Yeah, I mean, you know, James is his own man, very much his own man, does his thing. I do the training, um, don't get involved in the meetings and all the, all the politics that goes on behind the scenes. But my, my main aim with James is to make sure that he's fit in his head and fit in his body and does his, does his job as a professional fighter and reaches the, um, the ambitions that he's got, he's got and he wants to achieve. Same as when he was amateur. You know, his, his ultimate ambition was to be an Olympic gold medalist. He achieved it. And as a professional, you know, he wants to be a world champion. And he's on that path and he's working hard towards it. And um, we'll work it together and go right through, please, God. Now, he fights in a couple of weeks' time, um, two and a half weeks' time, at um, Glow, uh, a new venue in uh, Blue Water in, uh, in Kent. Um, what, what sort of opponent can we expect James to, to be matched up with uh, for this uh, defence of his European title? Obviously, because the defence of Europe entitled to be someone who's ranked with the EBU. We're looking at a few different people at the moment. Um, but the level James is at now, um, there's no such thing as a, as a given. So, you know, he's got to prepare a, whether he's fighting Andre Ward or whether he's fighting a, a guy out of the market. You know, all fights at this level, over 12 rounds, are, are, are tough fights. If, if they're not tough on the night, the build up and everything you've got to go in, the mental pressure, it's a, it's a, it's a real tough call. So, we haven't decided 100% who it's going to be yet, but we're looking at a, a couple um, with a decision to be made uh, very shortly. How important do you think is James to be fighting on the terrestrial TV, Channel 5? So obviously his profile is going to uh, keep, keep raising uh, while everyone can watch him on the telly, obviously, for free as well. Yeah, I mean, the good thing I'll keep saying to, to, to James is uh, for your next fight, my mum's going to tune in and watch it because like, obviously she, has, she ain't a subscriber to Sky or nothing and um, you know, she can just flick that channel and, and, and watch it so you know there'll be a lot of like, people who've never seen James Agal who um, will tune in and watch it go well, they might have even read about it but never seen him and for his next fight they, you know hopefully they'll tune in and watch it but yeah I think I think it'd be, I think it'd be, it'd be fantastic and right now what sort of shape is James in physically yeah I mean on a physical basis um, obviously as a professional fighter he, li he lives by that word professional um, trains thoroughly really really hard gives it 200 percent and that's been my main um i think i'll say that's been brilliant in all the all the inactivity that he's actually stayed in the gym and stayed doing what he's doing i mean he, he hit a really hard session yesterday which you can only do with if you're an ambitious fighter and you want to you want to go right to the very top but yeah he's, he's he's bang on schedule for um for the proposed date all right jim mcdonald thank you very much for talking to iPhone london and uh we'll hope to catch up with you very soon thank you very much my friend cheers thank you very much Oh, <laughs>